good day, it's Pete here and I'm back for a free day long tournament. This is an 8 board BBO tournament and today we're playing Imps. So let's just get, jump straight in, see what we can do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 12, 14 points, 5 card suit. I'm going to upgrade this into a no trump. 2 club stamen. I'm glad my partner uh, didn't invite me because being sub minimum on the high card points, I feel obliged to actually let that go. But here we go. Uh, so if I open one spade, my partner would raise spades, and we would get two. I don't know, two or four spades. Uh, three no trumps kind of feels better. We've got a couple of spade losers, a couple of diamond losers. Uh, on the side of making three no trumps, we have uh, three clubs, a heart, a diamond, that's five. I need to build some more. If spades come in, that's good. This heart lane makes it look like they're leaving a passive heart, and maybe both the hearts are offside, which is bad for me. I could consider them leading away from the uh, nine, but I'm not going to uh, duck that. Okay, so uh, East probably has King Queen of Hearts, and they switch to the Nine of Clubs, which is an odd switch when there's that eight third diamond there. Um, I would have expected a diamond switch. Ooh. Spade to the Ace. Okay. Still, I think I want more entries to the north hand. Playing this one a little bit too fast. Alright. Seven of hearts. Okay, so we're up to four spades. Three clubs is seven, and I've got my two aces. I'm now playing for over tricks. I could go spade, spade, pitching two diamonds, and then take a heart finesse. Sure. Heart. Okay, and I'm not finessing here because uh, I'm happy with my nine tricks. King Queen Dalton offside. Could have made over tricks if I if I backed my judgment that uh, the King Queen were offside. I could have done better. Um, five of Hearts. Yeah. I think double finessing is just sort of normal. Uh, but overall, pretty good. I'm happy with this. We got a game on the board. Uh, how would uh, four spades go? The diamond finesse works. So you have a heart loser and two spades. And the deep diamond. You, you can make four spades. It's a lot more work. I think three no trumps is uh, pretty good. So a few imps there. Board number two, so 12 count. This is a best hand tournament. Uh, do I want to compete? I could make a takeout double, which would allow my partner to compete in this auction. Or I could just pass. Um, I do have a shortage in hearts and three cards in all the other suits. I think this one's pretty close. So... They're aces. Yeah, I, I like aces. We're, we're going to get in here. Four diamonds jump in competition. So my partner's got a five card diamond suit. I don't think five diamonds is going to make if my partner can't bid it themselves. Wow, the opponents have a ten card heart fit. My partner had four card spades, didn't want to bid those. Uh, but we're in a diamond fit, and we have... Alright, so number one, most people would misplay this hand because you want to plan the auction from your partner's hand and people instinctively want to do it from their hand rather than the long trump hand but it's really important to plan from the other hand. So East has King, Queen of Hearts. West only raised to two hearts, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, Ten points in dummy, twelve in my hand. Let's give East eleven or twelve. So I can see twenty-two, eighteen missing, so... 
West has six or seven points. Um, now, my partner's got a club loser, they've got three spade losers and some diamond losers. Uh, we always have a diamond loser all up. I could cash the ace of diamonds and then lead towards the queen. Um, but entries to my hand are a bit awkward, so like, I kind of want to cash the ace of diamonds and lead up because I can play for east to have singleton king of diamonds or king doubleton diamond. But I also want to duck a club, and if I play like a diamond to the ace, I want to get back to my hand. Um, some way. Um, I could also play a diamond to the 8. Uh, that's playing west for jack 10 of diamonds. So I can play west for jack 10 of diamonds or the king of diamonds. So let's try that. That is some good news. And some bad news. Uh, it looks like diamonds are 4-1. Uh, so let's duck a club. Okay, and it didn't get rough, that's a bit of good news. Maybe I should have played king of clubs, duck of clubs, like, ah, oh, it's so awkward, I want to set up my clubs to uh, get discards. I should have cast the Ace of Diamonds first. Alright, so West has two clubs. They've got four diamonds, probably four hearts. Um, I feel like I'm going down here. How can I get an extra trick? If I overrough this, uh, that's really, really bad. So let's just pitch. I'll at least get my two diamonds at this stage. And go down one. Minus 100. How, what is that any good? Uh, we have two club tricks, a heart trick, and a spade trick, and a diamond trick, so we can hold them to two. Um, can I make four diamonds? Yes. So I have to time it a bit better. So king of hearts win, and let's say diamond to the eight, surely that's fine. And now... Am I, I think I'm down after I play club to the 10. Yeah. So if I play king of clubs, club to the ace, uh, diamond to the queen, ace of diamonds, eggs of the club. Yeah, I, that, that's way better. Um, but then they, they tapped me. Uh, if I play east to win the third round... Oh. Still awkward. I'll have to look at that one a bit more about what do I actually have to do at this stage when diamonds are 4 1. Uh, I, like, seeing as I can make this, I'm not feeling crash hot about it, but I did okay playing a diamond to the 8. <sighs> Alright. Uh, 6 12 points, 4 4 5 0. Start with a diamond. Uh, I have no aces, but this looks like an invite with three spades. Alright, we've got a heart loser and two diamond losers. They might be able to rough something, which is also bad. Um, if I draw trumps, then they can probably just... I, I won't be able to set up the diamonds in time. I could draw trumps and hope that uh, the Ace of Clubs is on side. Uh, 
Um, or I could try drawing just two rounds of trumps. If the ace of clubs is on side, then maybe I can do something. Um, uh, this is ugly. Like, hmm. not sure if I should draw three rounds of trumps or two. So if I draw another round of trumps, I can only ever rough one club. So let's say I play, draw the trump and play a diamond, they win, and play a club. Um, my king can score, but if east wins and leads it, then I'm down. I think I have to only draw two rounds. But uh, definitely in danger of uh, getting something roughed. So, West has the Ace of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds. I have 12 points. They could have the Ace of Clubs, but... Yeah. The other hand could have King of Diamonds, Ace of Queen, Jack of Clubs. Alright, so if I stick in the 10, am I ever making this contract? Um, is is putting in the king like allowing me to? If I put in the king, th and that holds. I can pitch a heart, draw a trump, knock out the diamond, pitch both of them. So I think I'm making if the ace of clubs is on the side. So I think that's worthwhile going for. So we're down one at this stage. I don't think I would have been able to do it, but um, let's have a look. Yeah, always down one. I think hoping the Ace of Clubs was on the side was my best bet. I'll double check at where I got to. Yeah, so I'm down one on a club switch, so it's all right. Uh, how will this one score? Um, other people might just bid two spades and get to play their making, so I expect to lose a little bit. Um, it's not going to be a great score. So, I'm still positive over these three boards. Uh, board one should be about plus six, and then maybe I'm not positive over these. Two and three might be down uh, a little bit worse than what board one was positive, but uh, we'll see. Board number four, six, five, twelve count. This hand's fantastic. East bidding a heart made it significantly worse, though. Start with a spade. Um, I've got a diamond fit. Am I willing to bail out here? So my partner's got, tw I've got 12 points. I've got 11 and 10, let's say. I got a club loser and a lot of heart losers, but West hasn't found a fit in heart, so maybe my partner's got something. Let's overbid this one. Oh, wow. Um, I certainly would have been better off defending here. They are not making three diamonds. That was a bad choice. So why would East jump to three diamonds? So what's going on here is how come they don't have a fit? East thinks they've got a fit. I think East has three diamonds. I can't imagine they've only got two. So West is probably a triple four one, maybe with a singleton heart um, and stuck for a bit after a bit of spade. But why do they need to venture two clubs if they were that? Because they could just pass. Uh, let's duck a heart. I really don't know how the opponents didn't find their... Alright, so West only has four diamonds and four clubs. So maybe a triple four one. 
No. Maybe just a balanced hand? Maybe they're four or five. Maybe they got five clubs and four diamonds and decide to open a diamond because of awkwardness of opening a club. Which would make them a four five two two. And I think I have the rest of the tricks. They were just a four triple three. That is an absolutely bonkers uh, bid there. Why would you open a diamond and rebid two clubs on this? There's, you can either pass or you can rebid a no trump, but two clubs is just really weird. Um, so we made ten tricks. They can do better, I think. So I can go down one. So I didn't really miss a game. My hand was really good. They were taking approximately zero tricks playing in three diamonds. They have nothing good. Uh, I don't think this is a good score. Uh, so down a bit. I need to pick up my game. Um, 10, 19 points. All the aces. I'm going to upgrade this because of that. So upgrade into 20, 21. Ace jack 10, ace queen. Yep. Good hand. Okay, so partner's got eight points. So we would have got to three no trumps anyway. We avoided the spade lead, which is good. Uh, three of clubs lead. Um, so we got two clubs, two diamonds, a heart, and a spade. I could try taking a diamond finesse now. Um, maybe I can do that later. West might have led from King Fourth or th like Stiff Heart. Like the club finesse could still be working. Uh, if it was oh, but the eight of clubs is missing. So West has the eight of clubs, so they've led from three. So I'm just going to go Ace of Clubs Club. It's going to be awkward for them to continue from that. That'll give us three clubs, two diamonds is five, a heart and a spade. Potentially I could take the heart finesse for two more. So Ace put the nine on from nine, eight, doubleton. West led king from king third. East then pitched a spade. What is going on here? <coughs> I should have stuck in the um, jack of spades, possibly. Like, West might have led low from king, queen, fifth, fourth spade. Uh, I can try taking a diamond finesse, or I can try taking a heart finesse. West led from king, third club, which is... The robots really like passive leads. So the fact that they led away from a king means they had no good lead whatsoever. Uh, which means, I think, taking the diamond finesse is probably better. Um, and we saw the nine of diamonds there. Okay, so West has uh, queen fifth diamond. Three clubs. Protect the beer card, obviously. Um, probably three spades to the king. And I reckon king doubles and heart, because why else didn't they lead a heart? So what's that? King third, king x, queen fifth, king third. Uh, so if they have that hand, what did they pitch there? A heart. I've got five tricks at the moment, and I've got three more. If I exit a spade... And if I exit a spade and East has Queen, Doubleton, Spade left over, I 
think I can legitimately squeeze west. So I'm, I'm writing this all on the inference of the lead. So we go up with the Ace of Hearts, and now we play a club over, and they pitch a diamond, and diamond to the Ace, and my diamond's good. Boom! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Um, Pick their hand really well, just because like a low club lead was really, really weird. Um, so they could have beaten me. So club lead, and then I won. And fired back club, club, and found out that led from queen, king third. And the robots hate that. It's like a really awkward play. And now I switch to a spade. And east pitched a spade, so I thought spades were five, whatever. And now they unblocked the king of spades, which looks like they've got queen, fifth spade. And diamond to the jack. I could have taken a heart finesse or a diamond finesse, but still reading the lead that they had that that inference that uh, they had nothing passive to lead from because the robots just love that. And now I cast the king of diamonds to see where I was at. And here, now when I exit a spade, it cuts the communication and East can either uh, cash his spade or not. If they don't cash their spade, then I'll just be able to set up the hearts for an extra trick. And when they do this, they play a spade. I pitch down to the stiff, jack, stiff ace of hearts opposite queen X. And East only has hearts left, so I get to score my ace. And now West can't uh, keep both the heart and the diamond. So club over, and look at this well-preserved beer card. That th This hand was just magic. I, uh, th this is why you play bridge. It's just awesome. Right? Just had like, this small slither of a uh, read. Got it. Upgraded this hand. Managed to make it. I think this will be a huge score. Um, but really happy about that one. So, plus 600. That was a gem. Hope, yeah. Whew. Alright. Uh, 12.15 points. 5.242. We are favourable. Um, so, two options. I could either open a spade, which is the normal bid, or I could open a no trump. So if I open a spade, that's good for getting two spades. If my partner just raises two spades, I'll pass. If partner bids a no trump, I only bid two clubs. We can still get to three no if they've got sort of 10 or 11. Um, but I think no trumps from my side might be better with the queen x in hearts. One spade's definitely the normal bid, but I don't want to miss a game in this sort of format. So let's, let's upgrade it. Um, invite. Well, like this format, so basically because there's over 9,000 people playing in this tournament and you want a lot of imps to actually do particularly well, bid in games and like you don't all play the same hands. So if you get a chance to bid and make a game, you want to go for it. So my choices are three spades, yes I have a five card spade suit, or three no trumps. Um, again, I could... Like, usually I bid three spades, but that'll reveal stuff to the robots. So let's just keep a surprise there. And, yep. King of Clubs lead. Do they just, like, Mary Mac me at trick one? Um, so a heart lead would be better for them. Uh, what? Yeah, wow. Um... I could potentially duck this. If I duck this, then they could switch to hearts. And they know I don't have four hearts. Uh, if I win this, then uh, dummies entryless. Um, if I duck this and they don't switch to hearts, then I might be able to get 
three club tricks, because I can still get three club tricks by afterwards playing club to the ace and finessing one. I might be able to get three clubs, three spades. Ah, uh, sorry, three clubs, four diamonds, two spades, and a heart. If they switch to hearts in time, I will have three heart losers, but I'll be able to get three clubs. A heart is four, two diamonds is six, two spades is eight. Um, East also doesn't know that West doesn't have a, a top club here. So I could play like diamond to the ace, diamond. They may give me an entry back to that hand, but that is a big call. I think my best hope here is that they don't switch to hearts. Um, so let's just duck the club. Okay. So part one, success. Again, very odd lead leading a Dalton club here. Um, but let's work on diamonds while we've got the... Uh, Time to do so. Okay, let's abandon diamonds at this stage. Uh, right, so each East pitched a heart. They've got four clubs, presumably, and they don't need to hold on to their clubs anymore. So West has two clubs, five diamonds. But they pitched a heart, so they've probably got five hearts. Which means they are... Um, four... Five, one, like three spades, four, five hearts, one diamond, and four clubs. If I lose a spade at this stage, they can then get two hearts and a diamond as well. But I think losing a spade is the best bet. Okay, so West has five diamonds, king, jack, fourth club, and they led the king. Uh, East pitched two hearts, so I think I need spades just to be breaking at this stage. <laughs> uh, right, so East has five spades. One diamond, two clubs, five hearts. I guess spades couldn't have been breaking. I had to play a spade to the ten. Um. Okay, West has king, jack of clubs. East has... Like, can I make this if... If East has Ace King of Hearts, they've now pitched. They're down to parity with me. They've got three spades and two hearts. I still have a couple of losers. Let's just duck a heart. Uh, so, down one. That was a weird hand. Um, three no, obviously too high on the hand. Um, but I did well for down one. If I open a spade and it goes a spade and no trump, uh, two clubs, two spades. Are you going to make you making two spades? You got two heart losers, a diamond loser, some club losers. It's a pretty ugly hand, so I'm not sure three no down one is that bad. I'm wondering if I got to a point where I could have made it. So at this stage, no, still can't make. It. If I play a spade to the ten, I scored that trick anyway. Uh, so, minus 50, again, a little bit bad. But, uh, moving on to board number 7, 14, 15 points, 4 triple 3, it's not great, but I won't downgrade this one. Um, hmm. 
So I got a fit for hearts, but I got stoppers and all the suits and a four triple three. So I'll let this go. But if partner has short spades, which they do, then four hearts is usually better. But here we have loads of tricks. We've got four diamonds, five hearts. Um, right. Four diamonds, five hearts is nine. A spade is ten. A club is eleven. Looks like a pretty Pretty easy hand. I can't really see a way to get an extra trick. So East pitched. Ten of clubs and the two of clubs. I'm just going to cash my winners here. Yeah. So they have their two tricks, and that one is a boring ish board. You're either going to play in four hearts or three no trumps. Both of them seem to be making 11 tricks, and it's not much more to it. Moving on to the board eight, final board. Let's see what we can do. We've got 10, 14 points, five, three, four, one. Start with a spade. And the robots play Drury here, so this is not a great raise. Um, but the robots are pretty conservative with it. They're only sort of Drury on like 10, 11 uh, point hands. Um, so partner's still six to nine. Um, so my hand's worth 17. It's probably worth inviting. Can I show a singleton club? Unspecified shortness. Okay. Probably I'd want to know that I had a short club here. But um, anyway, I got two diamond losers. I can rough both of them. It looks like the spades on the side, but I want them to win the like play the king of spades, so let's encourage that. Okay, I can potentially take a heart finesse. I could give up like ace diamonds diamond. Just wondering how I get back to rough my final one. Oh, I can use the ace of spades. Uh... Tempted by a loser on loser play throwing a heart away here, but I think it's better to rough this one and do that on the next. Okay, good. Spades broke. If spades didn't break, I think I was going down at that stage. Um, and they will just get a club trick. So, making 10. So, overall, I enjoyed this weekly free. Um, I think I did okay, but not fantastic. Got a couple of good scores in there. Really, really love board number five. Uh, but we'll check out the provisional results and then see how our friendship groups did. So if you want to add me and join our friendship group, all you have to do is add Slink to. This is just for the free day long tournament that has this sort of comparison thing. Um, but yeah, so add me, Slink to. Uh, let me know your BBO username and I'll add you back and we can see how we did. So provisional results are here and plus 19.2. So I lost 4.1 for going down in four spades. But other than that, it was all fine and got 8.6 big ones for that three no trumps. So overall, I think that's a decent score, but not fantastic. Uh, and we'll check out uh, how everyone else did. So, drum roll please. 
I won! <laughs> I finished, well, I finished in 613th at least, out of 8,000 odd people. Uh, Adam Ash also did really well, scoring 18.13 imps and finishing 726th. If you want to join this friendship group for the free day-long tournaments, just add me as a friend on BBO, Slink2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2. I play this tournament on Thursdays in Australian time, which corresponds to the Wednesday BBO tournament. Um, so just play that and yeah, we can compare and see who actually did well. So let's go quickly through these hands. So 3-no uh, making was worth 6 imps. So some people got to 4 spades, some pe people made over tricks. If you open 1 spade, partner bids Drury. So um, i th surprised that some people only took the low road. Some people also went off, just having a quick look at what they did. So... Uh, took a diamond finesse straight away, spade up, spade ducked, another club, they drew trumps. Uh, but at this stage they've lost a spade, just a spade, finesse a heart, they knock out the diamond, and now when they finesse another heart and that's offside, they uh, lose two hearts, a spade and a diamond. Uh, so... They got the timing slightly wrong, um, but you don't really have uh, the heart pips to get it right. It, it's a tricky one, uh, that four spades. Anyway, uh, board two, four diamonds down one. I actually won an imp for this. Uh, so some people got to three spades when they overcalled two clubs. I, I'm not a big fan of the two club overcall. I, I, to me, this was between pass and uh, double. Two clubs, I, I didn't really... Uh, bring into the picture. This is another reasonable option. Again, maybe you would choose to balance with a double. Um, uh, other people just let them play in two hearts, which made uh, two, and some people got too high um, by overbidding this pretty drastically. Uh, board number three, four spades down one. Um, I lost four imps for this. I guess, yeah, lots of people in two spades. Some people even made this. Okay, so let's just see. Uh, they got eight of hearts lead. They won. Spade up. Another spade. Three rounds of spades. Diamond to the nine. Well, there you go. Like, the ace of clubs was offside, but he's just cashed the ace of clubs sitting over the king. Um, rather than, say, pushing a heart through and then letting their partner lead a club through themselves. Uh, but yeah, four imps away. Uh, board number four, three spades plus one. I actually won imps for this. Yeah, lots of people just defending three diamonds. A couple of people got to four spades by starting with a double and then bidding spades. I think that's a bit too much. Other people going down in spades. Yeah, I didn't think this one was particularly difficult to play, but you just have to be a bit careful. Then I won nine for three no. Making on the nose. I love this hand. This is this was cool. It's all about just the inference, reading about why they led away from the club. I set up the club, and then realizing that why did the robots make that aggressive lead? And then it looked like they had three spades, so I figured they had honors everywhere. Um, if they had a Dalton small heart, they could have tried one. So I exited with a spade. East now gets to cash their spade and. Now, West gets squeezed in hearts and diamonds, so really, really love that hand. Then, uh, well, let's have a quick look. Some other people made it. Uh, just have a quick look. They opened one club, got a raise. So they got a club. Finesse the club straight back. Ace of clubs. Yeah. Diamond to the jack. Heart finesse. Uh, so basically, uh, the opponents didn't knock out the spade in time. So they won the club and finessed the club, and West just exited the club, which gave them all the time in the world that they needed. That was a lot easier than what I had to go through, but uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I should have won my queen of clubs and returned a low club straight away. It doesn't really give up on much except Dalton king of clubs on side. Uh, three no down one for one imp. 
Yeah, so some most people going down in two spades. So I was like liked the fact that I was in three no giving that a crack when other people were struggling away in two spades. Flat board for three no plus two, and then finally wrapping it up with four spades, where we just had to do a little bit of uh, roughing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this free day long tournament. And again, if you wanted to join the friendship group, just add me as a friend. Uh, in BBO, Slink 2. This is just for the free day long tournament and let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.